Hey guys! So, due to gravitational force, by standing up, I am actually exercising slightly. This is better than when I am just sitting at my desk, sitting on my ass, and like, letting the chair do all the work. So, I decided to, you know, get off my tush and do a little movements and go back to what I once had assumed would be my permanent set. You know, my background would have been this lovely corner. <laughs> now I'm gonna try it out again. <sighs> okay, so today, because, you know, that just had nothing to do with this video, I am gonna be talking about Bombshells, number two. It is my second favorite series, because if you've been watching my other videos, The Vision is my all-time favorite series right now, and it's like, oh, I love it so much. If you want to check out those videos, I've posted one, two, and three, three videos on each issue, except there is a fourth. I have made a video, but I don't believe I have posted it yet. I might have, if you're watching at a different time, so check it out. Anyway, might leave descript a uh, link to the first one in the description below. I'll have to remind myself when I post this. Two, number two, bombshells. Okay, so I'm going to start by telling you spoilers. Oh my gosh, I took a take, like I had another take of this video and I forgot to say spoilers and I felt so bad, I was like, damn it. Oopsies. So spoilers. Spoilers. I'm going to start this off by just introducing what characters are introduced in this. So far we were introduced to Wonder Woman, Batwoman, Stargirl, and Supergirl. Now... Wonder Woman has her own storyline, um, Supergirl and Stargirl have their own, like, storyline. They're together, though, because they are sisters. And then Batwoman has her own storyline. Now, in this, we get three, I'm gonna count as three more characters, four, four more characters, but three of them kind of go together. First, we are introduced to this lovely woman on the cover of the issue, Mura. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I'm pretty sure. Because it kind of reminds me of, like, Mermaid, so I want to say Mer, and, like, Mera, because, like, that, I think that's how, if I'm remembering her name correctly, even. I don't know. But now we're going to be talking about her, and later in future uh, uh, issues, she is called Aqua Woman. She is another case of a gender-swapped, like, hero. Like... Aquaman, Aquawoman type thing, like, there might not be an Aquaman, I don't know. They will go in depth later with her background, but not so much that I know her whole life story. But then, besides her, which is, she is Wonder Woman's, one of her, like, good buddies who help Wonder Woman in this issue basically steal Steve Trevor and, like, go and fight a war, which her mother, the Queen, says, nah, we can't do that. So, and... Later, they do a little segment on Stargirl and Supergirl. That woman is not in this issue. Stargirl and Supergirl have been captured as traitors in the Soviet Union, even though all they wanted to do was be night witches. Because of Supergirl's powers, though, that kind of, you know, they mark, they're like marked as Nazi, like war soldier people experiments, experiments, Nazi experiments. But that is not the case, because then, as Supergirl explains, she was basically, she fell from the sky as a baby, and then, but her mother was pregnant with another child at the same time, so both of her, both of those girls, Kara and Courtney, are not her, their father's children, but the, one of them are the mother's child, like, blood-wise. <laughs> Anyway, we got that going on, and so showing their whole, like, powers that Kara has, and then Kara, 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 either one, and then Courtney also has this one thing that her dad kind of hooked her up with, they are now going to be used as Soviet propaganda people. And then next, we are introduced to a whole different storyline in within all the storylines. And it is one where the main character is Zatanna. Or Zatanna. Zatanna. I'm going to say Zatanna. She, along with John Constantine and the Joker's daughter, those are the three that are in one storyline, 
are introduced at the very end. They're usually broken up into like three bits, so they're the third bit. Zatanna is kind of being kept as like an entertainer type thing because she is Jewish and you know this is during World War II. That's not the best place to be. Like the, that's not the best thing to be in the middle of German me like you know Berlin so that's going on and the Joker's daughter is kind of like the uh holder of her like she's the guard the prison guard basically but there's a whole like higher level like someone higher up than the Joker's daughter so you gotta know wonder who that is yeah and then John Constantine kind of, he's trying to be undercover, and then Zatanna kind of zaps him, turns him into a bunny, and basically they're like, well, there there we go, Zatanna's like totally part of our little group, and really she's keeping him merely as a pet, but not really. She keeps him to like save his life, because they need magic and stuff like that. And so that's where it ends, and it's pretty cool, and whatnot, and I definitely recommend this series if you want to see my first video. I'll also link it in the description, but it's just reading uh, bomb DC Bombshells number one. I also have one just on the whole series altogether, but at that point I think I've only read two or three. So this is better going through like them all, even though I've read all of them now. So, you know, uh, comment below if you are reading this series as well, maybe what other series I should start reading. Um, who's your favorite female superhero that has been introduced thus far in only issues one and two? Those are Batwoman, Wonder Woman, Aquawoman, even though her name is not Aquawoman yet, Supergirl, Stargirl, Zatanna, Joker's daughter, and then John Constantine is a man. Never mind, don't add him. He's not a female. Oh, I said female, didn't I? Yeah. I, I can't, I can, I can speak words. Okay, bye guys, I hope you have a wonderful day.